We didn't try conspiracy on tier list maker. I just thought there was way too many to choose from. Oh, that's true. But let's see. Conspiracy theory tier list. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Enough to like well, know what they are. I, no, look, Avril Lavigne is self-explanatory. Oh. Well, no, well, no, I know this, that one actually. Yeah, <laughs> where she died yeah, in two thousand three, like yeah. and they got a stand-in to play yeah. her. Interesting. Yeah, I actually know that one, but I don't know. Yeah. like a lot of the other. So ones. this is the Avril Lavigne's twin is a stand-in. This is Doctor Bigfoot, attorney at large. <laughs> is the one Elvis right, still alive? Like third from the right, is that just a lizard on a volleyball net? Yeah. This is uh, Reptilians, I think. Probably. JFK's assassination, Illuminati. Loch Ness. Where's Loch Ness? Messy. Oh, yeah, nice. We know a good chunk of these, but... Flat Earth. Oh, never went to the moon. Which one's Flat Earth? The guy standing on the Flat Earth in the middle. Oh, Flat Earth. Uh, what is the hell one? Dinosaurs not being real. Uh, Aliens. Is, is the one of the... Evolution, just that evolution is <laughs> real. Yeah. Yeah. Might be. <laughs> the opposite of what the picture portrays. Okay. What is that one? Which oh. one? Sorry. That one. Uh, that the earth is sad. <laughs> I think this is climate change. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, hollow earth. Was one of those hollows at hollow earth? Oh. Is that a thing? Yeah. People hollow earth. That? Why isn't do that, they care? Isn't that just Godzilla? Yeah, that was in the Godzilla movie. <laughs> Why do they care if the earth is hollow or not? But well, it'd be a huge deal if yeah, the earth was hollow the, the, where would lava come from yeah and there'd be no core i just feel like it wouldn't change anything what do you mean Ooh, there could what? be a whole civilization in the middle i guess of the that's earth. true and now that's a conspiracy theory the well that's where that's if what it I is said, look there's a layer of magma and you said no i'd be like okay <laughs> like, whatever but if you said there's a well, what does it matter if the earth is flat true now you look dumb well we have I don't know. Man. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> it just didn't sound excited when you excited when you said it. All right. Now let's talk about our new sponsor, Raider Origin, a cool fantasy MMO RPG. I'll go ahead and let Jackson take it away since he's actually an avid player. Hey guys, Jackson here. If there's one thing you know about me by now, it's that I'm absolutely crazy for mobile games. Here's one for you. Raider Origin is a game that's absolutely blowing up right now. There's almost been two million downloads in the last six months alone. This is an awesome mobile MMORPG that's now celebrating its second birthday and they're celebrating it in style by adding a new class, the Viking Warrior, and a special mount, the Viking Ship. You can take your new Viking Warrior and fight with your friends in explosive cross-server action or maybe run some dungeons if that's more your style. Maybe you're too busy watching one of our many videos here on YouTube and that's fine because Raider Origin has you covered with auto mode so you can put your game down while you're doing something else and still make progress. There's so much to do in Raider Origin, and now's the best time to hop in. If you download it right now, you'll get 400 multi-pulls and massive free in-game drops. From August 11th to the 17th, you can receive 1.2 to 5 times the rewards for recharging from the Recharge Rebate event. Want to get rich quick? Me too. Look out for the Red Packet event that will offer 10 million diamonds to new players. If this sounds like a hoot to you, make sure you download the game. It's free. The link is in the description. Go do that and enter the gift code on the screen right now to claim some awesome bonuses. 88,888 gold, 5 pet upgrade bonuses, 5 mount upgrade bonuses, and 1 offline grinding card for free. But that's only for the next 15 days, so make sure you download now. For anyone listening in the future, still download the game because it's a ton of fun. That deal is only for the next 15 days, so make sure you use code PG2021 for that bonus. If you're interested, click the link in the description below. Badass Bible... Ooh, Bible characters is kind of interesting, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Bible I characters. I definitely know Bible characters. Oh, it's... We, we, we sow. Moses is pretty fucking Moses cool. Moses is my boy. Yeah. Job. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we can do Bible <laughs> characters of God on there. <laughs> Satan. This is actually a good one. I'm yeah, let's, good let's one. do Bible characters. Like do they have a shorter one? No, no, no this so is good. I'm going to have to do research on all of them. I, we could probably we, we can look, most of these. We could also just look them up. I, I love that the uh, it goes from God tier to real bad. <laughs> real bad. Real bad. I think this bad. is for like teaching kids like which ones were morally good and which ones were yeah. morally oh, not good. Oh, true, true. But true, we're true, just going to rank them based on how, <laughs> like, <laughs> how cool they are. Somebody also said CEO tier list, which is another interesting idea. That, is, that could work as well. Sal. 
Thanks to the recent I, not a cup. I like this one because I don't know Arnipheus most and of Choppy. Yeah. Yeah. Jonah, I know he was swallowed by the whale. Okay, well, don't yeah. spoil it. Let's right, start with sorry. Isaac. What do Something we... big swallowed. Okay, what did Isaac do? So I actually know this one. Do you guys know Isaac? I don't. I don't know the name. Okay, so you'll see in the picture here, Isaac looking like Kronos here, Father Time. He was tasked by God to take his son to the top of a mountain and kill him. Oh, he's on the other side. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, but he, but he, uh, he was going to do it, but he didn't. Yeah, right, that's right. Didn't. I so, think... The, oh, the lesson is that you should give all to God. That's the mm. what he was trying to teach. Even your own son. So he was supposed to bring him, murder him on like an altar, and God would give him a thumbs up. And right before he killed his child, he said, that's enough. You've proven yourself. Wow. He's a cuck. He's going to real bad. I was going to say like meh or lower. Yeah. No, yeah. He's, I think he, he's like, kind of a bitch. Yeah, you can't sacrifice your son just because some guy told you to. You didn't even know that it really was God. That could have been anyone. It could have been a time traveler with a megaphone for all he knew. That is yeah. true. How did he confirm it was God telling him to kill Exactly. Himself? It could have been like an actual terrorist. I don't know <laughs> yeah, Jacob. Kind of, kind of a bitch. Yeah, who knows Jacob? Jacob and Esau. I, I'm assuming Esau is how I say it. <laughs> are uh, actually Isaac's kids. Uh, is oh. Jacob the one that he tried to kill? I, I think so. Uh, wait, wait. When Isaac was a... U oh, wait. We're all wrong. All of everything. When Isaac was a youth, God ordered Abraham, oh, Abraham. to oh. take his beloved son to a mountain. Fuck. So it goes Abraham, Isaac, and then Isaac has Jacob. Okay, so replace Isaac with okay, Abraham. Yeah. Abra 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 Abraham's the cock. Where's he? Yeah, I don't know. We can find him. He's, he's there. He's somewhere. not going to be on the list. Oh, wait, Captain Ahab's here. <laughs> that's from Moby Dick, right? Yeah. Was, no, was Moby Dick in the Bible? I'm sure there's another character. There's a person called Ahab in the Bible. No. <laughs> Let's go down to the last one. There's Abraham. Oh, yeah, no, he even looks oh, like yeah, a god. He looks right. stupid. Yeah. All right, so, so what did Isaac actually do? Here we go. Yeah, Later, look up Isaac, now. Isaac married Rebecca with a K. Oh. They found she was barren, just as Sarah had been. That's his mom. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. As a good husband, Isaac prayed Wait. for his wife. Mm -hmm. Yes. His mom was god barren. Granted, <laughs> god granted, assured him oh, he would okay. have a baby. I got gotcha. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. I'm as there. a good husband, Isaac prayed for his wife, of course, and God opened Rebecca's womb. Wow. She gave Isaac, birth that's a to twins. Tier, that's so Isaac. Yeah. yeah. Isaac she gave birth King. to twins, Esau and Jacob. I think Isaac's got to be God I tier. I also think I'll go Isaac best of the is, best. If Rebecca's on here, we'll we'll find out later. I think she also goes up top because God literally opened her womb. Well, how do you know Isaac didn't open her womb? It sounds like well, he it says did God that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it says and God he went in there with forceps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it says God. Thanks for some lizard knees. Branch and gifts of Blossom and Prime box. All right, and he, they had Jacob and Esau, who are twins. Okay. Isaac favored Esau, a burly hunter oh. and outdoorsman, while Rebecca favor favored Jacob, the more sensitive, thoughtful of the two. That was an unwise move for a father to take. Isaac should have worked to love both boys <laughs> equally. Oh, definitely uh, best oh, of the best. I'm yeah. on the Learn Religion website. Oh, okay. I think it sounds like Esau should be, like, good. Well, did Esau do anything besides just be a Chad? Like, does he have, like, his own story in, arc in the anime? type in Esau. Okay. Or I guess the manga. Who was the one with the shiny coat? With the coat of many colors? Oh, I couldn't tell you that one. I forget who that was. Esau is the oldest son of Isaac in the Hebrew Bible. He is mentioned in the book of Genesis. Oh, it's Esau. Esau. Yeah, it's up for interpretation. So we have the story focuses on Esau's loss of his birthright to Jacob and the conflict that ensued between their descendant nations because of Jacob. It sounds like they had a war because of Jacob's deception of their aged and blind father. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Jacob's going down the list. Uh, in order to receive Esau's birthright blessing from Isaac. All right, so Jacob seemed like he was a bitch to Esau. Well, I well, know... it kind of sounds like Jacob just, like, kind of beat him. That's yeah. true. Well, he also... So, according to chat, Jacob wrestled with an angel to get a blessing. And you can even see it here. He's fighting, like, oh. Pidgeotto or something. <laughs> kind of sick. <laughs> yeah, Jacob's moving up the list for me. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, I'm trying to see... There needs to be a good site to look these up on. Ooh, Biblical Britannia. That's very Britannia. reliable. Here we go. <laughs> Esau... Also called Edom in the Old Testament. So, all right. At birth, he was red and hairy. And he became a hunter. Give me some hosh. While Jacob was a shepherd. All right. Give me some good stuff. We're really stuck on Esau mm -hmm. and Jacob here. We, yeah, we're we're going to be here all day. Info about them. Okay, how about this? I've got an idea. 
about that. <laughs> Esau, what did he do? He had Ooh. rough qualities that distinguished him from it. Here's nice. a quick little video, chapter 10, two minutes, Jacob and Esau. You want to hear it? Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah. It's Crossroads it's Kids <laughs> Cool. Like Crank it up so they can hear it. There were twins named Jacob and Esau, and they didn't get along. They actually started fighting before they were born. Whoa, then damn. Then birth, Esau came out first, but Jacob was holding on to his heel. That's not normal. And they even looked at <laughs> the Papa and Narisa Blosty and Nicholas. So much red hair, it was almost like he had clothes on. Jacob's skin was smooth. Well, they got even more different as they grew up. Esau hunted animals and spent time outside. It's pretty cool. Dad, Isaac, was a big meteor, so Esau was his favorite. Oh. Jacob, on the other hand, was a quiet guy who liked to stay indoors. Their mom, Rebecca, liked Jacob the best. The Bible doesn't talk much about Jacob and Esau as kids. But we do know Esau was lucky to be the oldest because he had what's called a birthright. That meant Esau would be in charge of their family. This is too slow. Get to the part yeah, where he wrestles slow. an angel. Oh, yeah, I want to get me to get stuff. You take it to your father to eat. Then he'll give you oh. his blessing before he dies. See, Jacob Isaac definitely killed his dad. She was telling Jacob to pretend well, I don't think so, not with this Esau. music. But there was a slight problem with her plan. First off, Esau was hairy. So if Isaac touched Jacob's smooth skin, he would not What is drink. happening? The Bible says Esau had a certain smell, too, which might be a polite wear some of Esau's smelly clothes. Now okay, I'm just going to put him in meh. Yeah, let's yeah, just yeah, go with meh. I'm going Jacob, good, Esau, down. meh. Jacob's fighting an eagle. I'm fine with that. That's yeah. pretty patriotic stuff. Who is Laban? Or Laban? All right, we're, new rule, we can only use this little paragraph to, uh, <laughs> like, the, the wiki paragraph <laughs> okay. that pops up. Laban, also known as Laban the Armenian, is a figure in the book of Genesis. Uh, all right. He was the brother of Rebekah, who married Isaac and bore Jacob. Laban welcomed his nephew as a young man and set him the stipulation of seven years' labor before he permitted him to marry his daughter, Rachel. So he was just kind of like a landlord? Yeah, he was just kind of yeah, like, hey, I, come I, you can work put, for seven years. You can put him in meh. I yeah. think. Sounds yeah. like a little bit of a stickler, but not but, like a bad guy. I just want to read like what he has here. It looks like just Passover. What did he do for Passover? He invented it. I don't know. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty. I'm, I'm pretty I'm mad. Mad. Yeah, mad. Yeah, agreed. Rebecca, apparently she was very highly sought after. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they got opened her womb and put two babies inside of it, and that's kind of well. And then she helped Jacob try to deceive her father. True. That's God tier. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph. Oh, Joseph! Joseph's the boy. Getting the good stuff. Now we're getting to the main characters. Who's Joseph? I don't remember. <laughs> Didn't he put people like animals on the ark? No. All right. In the biblical narrative, Joseph, Joseph was sold into slavery by his jealous brother. Oh, this is the coat guy. And he rose to become... Yeah, this guy's best of the best. Whoa. You think so? Yeah. He rose to become the second most powerful... A uh, man in Egypt right. next to Pharaoh. Yeah. Really? Where his presence and office caused Israel to leave Canaan and settle in Egypt. Pharaoh gave him the name Zaphnath Panea. That was Joseph is the real American yeah, this, story. This boy yeah, American did dream. some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm down. Do you think best of the best? That sounds kind of cool. Yeah. He's also the ancestor of a Messiah. I'm thinking Moses has got to be God tier. Moses. Even like in Beyblade yeah, canon, he's, Moses he's parted here. the seas with a Beyblade. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so Moses that's is fucking cool. Yeah, it's Moses funny you did that in the Bible, Bible too, right? Yeah, they yeah. talk about the Beyblade yeah, chapter the in the New, New yeah, Testament, yeah, I think. It, it just they're, and they're a little different. Right? He was also kind of a bad boy because he oh. he wasn't allowed to enter the Promised Land because he sinned. His only sin, he got angry and he hit a rock with his staff, mm. and God said. Not yeah. on my watch, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, not my rocks. To Pharaoh and was like, not my rocks. Let it rip. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and won, won the freedom of all the Jews. Wow. Do you think he hit the rock when he was parting the sea? Because that would be a like pretty good accident. accident. Yeah, just like, he did it. He was happy it split, but it was like, oh, I'm not allowed in. Well, I watched an animated movie called uh, Joshua and the Promised Land. So I know, and this is this is furry character, so it wasn't exactly Moses. I'm pretty sure he was a furry in this. <laughs> but I remember he was angry about something. I think it was something Joseph did. And he was like, that's enough. <laughs> and then he was like, ah, what have I done? 
That's sad. Yeah, Moses has got to be God tier. So yeah. if we go just by the Wikipedia paragraph, he was the most important prophet in Judaism. And an important pro- all right, that's it. He brought all the plagues. He's, he's, he's the one that did all that. All right, Pharaoh. Pharaoh is stronger than Joseph. But is he cooler than Joseph? He was kind of a dick. Yeah, but he got that that beard. Yeah, but he enslaved like <laughs> it's a everybody. goatee. I think we can put True. him in like bad. Oh, I think bad. Yeah, he's, he's not like, bad. He, he wasn't a, a bad go- person. He wasn't a good guy, and I also don't think he's interesting. He right. sounds more just like a normal like dictator. Yeah, in yeah. anime, anyway, he'd was. be real fucking strong, yeah. but in yeah. a bad way. Yeah. So I'm with you. I mean, yeah. Who's Aaron? Yeah, what did Aaron do? That's just a really basic name. Yeah, right Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. This is like a self-insert from the guy who made the tier list. Yeah. All right, here's the one paragraph you get. Aaron was a prophet, high priest, and the elder brother of Moses. Whoa. Knowledge of Aaron, along with his brothers Moses, comes exclusive from religious texts. No shit. So he didn't do anything? He was just his brother? Does I'm he not have any accolades of his own? Seeing. He led... Oh, no. Oh, it says he was with Moses and led Israelites out of Egypt. Seems like he didn't really do much. Yeah, it he was kind of like, like the side character. Yeah, he was just kind of there. He was Moses' foil. Was he comic Maybe he like relief? put the rock under his staff. <gasps> oh! To, to really do you get think one they over investigated on him. that? I don't think so. <laughs> put that on the conspiracy tier list. Where is he in this painting? Oh, oh I remember this He's from the cow. from the animated movie. <laughs> they, <laughs> is they, the cow in the tier list? Yeah, hopefully the cow's here. It had a name. They made like a, a, a golden statue for like a new deity. and that I, That's why Moses hit the rock, I think. Because oh. he was so mad. He's like... Oh, because they're worshipping a cow and not God. Yeah, because I think he went to get the Ten Commandments. And when he came back, he saw all of the people and he was leading. Two seconds and there was a cow. <laughs> he was like, oh my God, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and then he sinned and wasn't allowed in the promised land. I think that's what it was. So did Aaron make this? Maybe. It says... Let's see... In the great blah, 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 in the recount slavery in Egypt, he's a man of peace. He succeeds at everything. Everyone admires and even loves him, whether great or small. They need him, his understanding, and his mediation. Whatever he does, he is well regarded. Mm-hmm. You're breaking your rule. Well, You're I had to, to learn. Only use the parallel. All right. Well, if we only use yeah, he did that. I don't think he did anything. All right. I think you should go, go and met. Well, yeah, he he, met. he doesn't like foreigners. Like we're we're learning a lot. What? It doesn't take long. He spoke no, against a... Moses because he married a foreigner. Oh, oh yeah. a woman from Cush. Aaron died on top of Mount Hor at the age of one hundred and twenty-three. Whoa! Whoa! Not bad. Pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah. All right. He climbed I'm a still, mountain at 123. I think he should go mad. Well, well, he he died. Died. Maybe he shouldn't have because he died. So Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. We'll <laughs> give him a bad. That's pretty cringe. Fucking dying. <laughs> Joshua. All right. We got to stick to the... Yeah, just use that. Just that the paragraph. paragraph. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't tell me because it's telling me the book of Joshua. What was Joshua known for in the Bible? Well, he was actually known for this movie. Joshua in the Promised Land. The mm. leader of the Israelite tribes after the death of Moses. Ah. So this is, so this is Joshua. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So here's when... Which one? Is he the flying... Well, yeah, this is Moses. Oh, oh okay. of course. He's land. got the staff. Yeah. Is that Aaron? I don't... Uh, that's a good question. So one of those has to be Aaron. <laughs> I think this is Joshua. Without. Yeah, I think he's Joshua. Isn't that Moses? No, 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 no. Moses is like the, the elder. Green. Yeah. Oh. And who? Is that Aaron? Is Joshua who told them to put the matzo on their back? And it turned the bread on their back and it turned into matzo. I bet you that was Joshua. He's a Hebrew leader? <laughs> is that. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be coming to this character soon, I'm sure. Who's that? Uh, God. Is that God? No, no, no. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I don't think God's actually in this directly. All I know is he just did a lot of rock. Yeah, he's like breaking a whole thing. He's not going to- Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, it's the Shadow Clone Jutsu. I don't remember <laughs> this part of the anime. <laughs> oh my god. It's- it teaches you about the story of Joshua in the Promised Land. I unfortunately don't remember it super well. It's been a few years since I watched this. Joshua. But I think those were the walls of Jericho. And yeah, this is Joshua. Is Joshua. Yeah, here, you can even hear him talk. 
Oh, you just missed him. Okay, wait. Right, he crossed the Jordan here to go in and take possession of the land the Lord your God. He sounds pretty young. Yeah, no, he was he was very young for being 123. <laughs> All right, I have an idea. Here we go. <laughs> I looked up the spark notes for the Bible, and they have a characters list. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I watched this movie a long time ago. Joshua. Seven nights. It made the walls crumble just from running around the walls. Oh, my God. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. If that's true. All right, here we go. Here's spark notes paragraph on Joshua, and then we got to pick. Okay. It's a successor of Moses. He directs the people in their sweeping military con campaign to conquer and settle the promised land. Joshua's persistent... Uh, Persistence to Israel remains obedient to God to imply that he doubts Israel will do so. All right. That, this <clears throat> isn't helpful. So just put him in. Mm -hmm. I think he's good. Good. No, I think... Did you not... You just haven't seen the movie. Joshua is absolutely God tier. Was he the one breaking the walls? Yeah, he ordered... I he was the lion. No, he ordered the the ghosts of Christmas past or whatever that was to tear down the walls of Jericho. He gave the order. Yeah, so, but, he, but that ghost should be God tier, not him. He just told him to do it. Yeah. Well, no, like even so, Moses is killing himself. I think <laughs> he he throws himself from the cliff or something, and then he gives the staff to Joshua, and he's like, "Okay, now I control God." I think Josh was awesome. All right, how about Rahab? She was a woman who lived in Jericho in the Promised Land and assisted the Israelites in capturing the city by hiding two men who had been sent to scout the city prior to their attack. Uh, meh. I think that's she's all, right. she's all right. That's really under. Is that I mean, all she, she did? Helped, I guess. I don't know. I'm only allowed to use one paragraph. <laughs> Give me a little. We need to get to the interesting stuff. I, the problem is even going anywhere else. There are so many much more interesting way. characters. We don't need to look into the ones that are just not interesting. A prostitute who is also a biblical heroine, and according to the narrative in jo Joshua two, there's a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua again. Oh, a deleted scene. Oh my god. Wait, freedom for Rahab! She oh, was in this movie? No. <laughs> Big family and you have Where is she? Oh wow. I feel like we're we're wandering a little bit from Yeah. That. Well, that, at this point I'm just looking at highlights of this movie. <laughs> I just want to see Rahab. Dude, do we need to transition to a different tier list or stay strong? No, we're doing good. That's what I'm calling. Which one's Ra Rahab? That one. Is the pink one. This is her. This yeah. is her. Okay, so I'm going to give... Uh, she can go in good, I think. Yeah, I think good's fine. She was in the movie. What about Deborah? Jesus. <laughs> it's alright, There's only like 40 more to go. Yeah, we're almost done. She sounds kind of like a copycat. Like, she was like, I saw Moses yeah, release Moses all these people, and now it was kind of cool. So, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think? Like, meh? Yeah, meh. sounds like meh. it. I mean, she had a tree called after her, but that's, you know. Gideon, I think I remember having a cool story. I, I think Gideon sounds cool. I don't know anything about him, so I can't. He, he's a military leader. Okay. Yep, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Matt? Hey, what do you think? Ruling? He's fine. He's meh. Yeah, yeah, I think he can go in meh. All right. Samson's cool, isn't he? I, I know the name, so he must yeah, be sort Samson's of important. Good. I think he was like a really strong guy. Oh, oh yeah, I think, oh, yeah. I he's, think you're right. He's yeah. a goofball opening a lion's mouth. Oh, he's mouth. fighting a lion. He's yeah. like uh, Hercules. Wow, well, I I put him in. He sounds one pretty under cool. God -tier. I, yeah, I think I'm going best to the best. And then yeah. strength allowed him to perform superhuman feats, including slaying a lion with his bare hands and massacring an entire army using only the jawbone of a donkey. Wow, somebody <laughs> wow. Said he sounds like God tier. That might be that might be God tier. Someone said he loses his power when his hair is cut. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's such a weird. That's weakness. like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. So like, if he gets shaved, he just becomes like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> less hair he has the weaker he is all right I mean, i'll give him i'll give him god tier yeah, that's pretty cool god tier. sounds yeah. pretty cool that's what about ruth picture? ruth ruth Jeez. who was ruth in the bible ruth was of the women of moab hopefully that's not moab i'm gonna go with moab but was well it's probably not moab moab is mother for mother of all, of all bombs. bombs yeah how do you know i believe it ruth Pretty might have been the mother of all bombs <laughs> she yeah. worked on the manhattan project <laughs> She was genetically linked to Israel through the net. Okay. I don't care. Ruth loved her mother-in-law. Okay. It sounds like she didn't do a whole bunch. 
<laughs> yeah, but then why why is she in the Bible? What is she had to have done something? Well, she helped Naomi, I guess. The story of Ruth and Boaz. Yep, Boaz. Uh, the Book was, of Ruth. Boaz was a barley harvester. <laughs> wow! Fuck. I can't wait till we come up to Boaz. <laughs> yeah. Tier list. Uh, I'm giving her bad. I'm unimpressed. Yeah, she's not really very cool. What about Ruth her? and Boaz soon married and had a son named Obed. <laughs> what about Hannah? The women of yeah, the land. Oh, let me look. Who was Hannah in the Bible? It's okay, we're almost to God. <laughs> Hannah was one of the two wives of a man. One of two wives of a man named Elkanah. Ooh, is Whoa. he on the list? Sounds pretty cool. That's pretty fucking cool. The other wife of Elkanah was Penina. And they had children, but Hannah had no children. She was very grieved. To make matters worse, Penina taunted Hannah concerning her barrenness. That's so rude. That is pretty <laughs> rude. Uh, I'll, Hannah I'll... cried out to God about her situation. She promised the Lord if he would give her a son, she would dedicate him to God as a Nazarite. Ah, Eli took her distress for drunkenness. <laughs> oh, I think she can go in to like encourage that. her to give up drinking, and she corrected his mistake. Thanks. Can you rename the tears? No, I can't. Uh, okay. Hey, she had a son. And named him Samuel. Oh, oh, Samuel's coming up. I'm gonna give her man. Yeah, she has. She's like a nothing. Eli. Oh wait, Eli and Samuel have the same picture. Are they related? Oh. Are they the same person? Wait. Did did he clone himself? I did. They have that technology. Well, Eli's the one who and... said she was drunk and tried to help her stop drinking, even though she wasn't drinking. Okay, so he doesn't like alcohol. All right, let me see. He's Eli in the Bible. Really is a, fucking stupid. Of he's a priest. <laughs> All right. Thanks for Prime. Big Nemo. Oh, you're really sad. You must be drunk all the time. <laughs> he had two wicked sons. <gasps> Eli had two wicked sons named Hophni and Phineas. Whoa. It's the predecessors to Phineas and Ferb. Uh-oh. They also served in their tabernacle. They did not know the Lord. Uh, okay. I mean, it seems like the best part about Eli is he was a priest who had Phineas and Hophni. We, we don't have very many Eli fans in the chat, because when we got to Eli, they're like, Eli sucks. Eli's an asshole. He sounds pretty sucky. Oh, wait. He sounds go. really dumb. We know, all right. Uh, Eli's heart was with his sons and not with the Lord. We know this because God sent a prophet to Eli to deliver a dire message. All right. I will cut short your strength and the strength of your priestly house so that no one in it will reach old age. He's also kind of bald. I think we can put him in bed. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give him bed. God. That's fine. What about Samuel? Um, Samuel is the daughter of Hannah. I mean, the son of Hannah. Remember, she cried out and was like, yo, God, give me the son. And he was That's like, right. here's Samuel. Right. So Who could forget? It means heard of God. All right, was dedicated to God by his mother, Hannah, which means he's a Nazarite. I don't know what that... I think that's like a Nazgul from Lord of the Rings. I think you're right, yeah. Um, all right, let's see. After Samuel was weaned, likely around the age of four, whatever, okay, he was brought to the tabernacle to serve under Eli. Are you reading a poem? It yeah, sounds got, like a lot of stuff happened to him. Yeah, I've got like, like a whole either. sermon here. So apparently God called to Samuel and he said, here I am. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> but I'm only on... Uh, the first three times nine. the Lord called Samuel, the boy responded thinking it was Eli. Mm. So, mm, so the Lord also kind of spoke stupid. to Samuel. Well, I mean, if a random voice in your house and you're living with Eli says, hey, Samuel, you're going to go be like Eli, was that you? Are you going to think it's just God talking? Well, I don't know. From now not, on, I will. Yeah, if it's not, I guess, yeah, three if times like is a little much. hanging out with you and a voice is talking to me that's not your voice, that's I wouldn't fair. be like, Matt. All right. All right. You're right. <laughs> so Samuel seems kind of cool. Oh, God. We're going down a whole list here. Samuel had two sons, Joel and Abijah. I don't care about Does their I'm Samuel sure they're going to pop cool. up. I don't know. Samuel doesn't sound like he did yeah, a whole nah. The, the one redeeming factor is God spoke to him three times. We know that. And it took him the third time to yeah, think it was his dad. He's, he, was pretty, he was pretty slow. That's like true. He wasn't he wasn't prompt with the attendance call. Agreed. I'm going to give that real bad. 
Whoa. <laughs> when <laughs> when <laughs> God knocks, you answer. Wow. That's true. You don't when get people to people are saying life. Samuel was dope. What the hell did he do? What did he do? What did he, he didn't do anything. He just said, hey, what's the book it's of me. Samuel? So maybe he did more than this is telling me. Well, yeah, maybe we just didn't get to the good summary. Is that like the fourth part of the Bible? Yeah. Then the Lord came and stood there calling, calling as at the other time, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, speak, for your servant is listening. Oh, that's oh. kind of rude. Yeah. yeah. He just he commanded his master to speak to him. Oh, he killed the king. What? Why is that? All right. I have... He killed Agag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. How did Why we not know this? Why is that not in here? Samuel kills King Agag. I need a different site. Yeah, they, they, we get the most boring parts of these characters. Samuel said, hey. Meanwhile, he also killed Agag. <laughs> he was good in the DLC. Yeah, I guess so. None of these tell me that. So it was kind of a big deal because Samuel... Went kind of ape shit for no reason. Yeah, like. yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, he, he can move him up a tier, I think. Bye, I'm gonna give him all the way up to. I'm gonna oh, put him to good. Yet. Oh wow, we don't see a whole lot of king killing. Do we? I feel like well, we not yet. Do not yet. <laughs> Bible character summaries. Let's see. That's got to be a better one. This we're is on, on BibleBlender.com. We're on to Saul now. <laughs> Saul's the one that changed from Paul, right? What? No. What? Oh. I don't know. Is he like Are a lawyer sure? or something? I, I don't know. He did. I'm. What? Wasn't why would he? Was why would he? Someone, why would he? Someone who like changed sides and then changed one letter in their name. Why would you change from Paul to Saul? That's the worst disguise ever. Well, I don't know if it was a disguise. I oh, I'm right. no, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Saul <laughs> changed to Paul. <laughs> he was bad, and then he turned good, and then he was like, "I'm Paul now." Oh my god. Wait, we missed Jacob. His name was changed to Israel. Oh. Oh. Well, that's it, pretty cool. Where's Jacob? We put him in good. No, oh, that's fine. That's yeah, still that's fine. fine. <laughs> All right, next name? It's Saul or Paul. No, no, no. Are there two different people on the tier list? Because it's like a whole new person because he changed his name. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Oh, we have the Antichrist. Oh, he's right there. Oh, you're right. Oh, they look nothing alike either. <laughs> Okay, well, Saul's rebellion and impatience led to Yahweh's rejection of his kingship. That's what this site tells me. I think me. we should put we should like be good little boys and put Saul in bad and Paul in good. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah. yeah. Where's Paul? I'll go ahead and skip yeah, over there. Right there. There you go. Saul was not a great king, nor was he even a good man. I think the prime logic. He was deeply flawed. The book of Samuel is dedicated to a character study about Saul's failures. Wow. That's wow. pretty cool. Really he just got off. I'm going to go with real bad. <laughs> he became a case study for shitty leadership. Wow. I think Jonathan has a cool story. Is he next? Yeah, I think he was even in this movie. All right, so I'm thinking Jonathan's kind of cool. Where did you find out? Uh, he loved David, and David was... Jealous about so I don't fucking remember already. Someone wanted to kill someone else out of jealousy. So Jonathan and David were like lovers or something. Mm. So that's pretty interesting. He also David became king. What's the next one? So I can start researching while you finish this one. Uh, next one is Adam. But we all are. We there know are Adam. so Ooh. many on that. I know list. Adam though. <laughs> I told you we only had like forty left. This is terrible. That's so many. We don't have that. <laughs> what? We haven't even We're gone all... through half. We haven't even made it to Satan yet, Matt. It's oh because you're God. taking too long. What if we went through a list that didn't have all these stupid people on it? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you're going right to hell. Oh, my Lord. Stupid people. Who do you want to take out, Matt? The Bible. God? Huh? You want yeah. to take God out of the Bible? <laughs> the Bible no. doesn't work without Ahab. We're not at God for 12 more people. <laughs> you just, you can't appreciate oh, Lord. where we came from. What's Jonathan do to you? This is supposed to go out on Sunday. <laughs> Jackson's going to kill us. I'm going to give Jonathan a good... What, what, have you found something he did? Well, he loved David, and that's kind of cool. Oh, that is pretty cool. Adam. We all know Adam, right? So Adam, yeah. the first man made in God's image. God yep. was kind of lonely. Yep. Uh, he <laughs> ate from the tree of knowledge. Yep. After Eve tempted him, after she was tempted by Satan, right, who was then punished by God to become a snake. Right. I'm giving him real bad fucking idiot. Shouldn't have eaten the apple. 
Is well, that, I feel like he should be wait, is like. That right? I thought he was just a snake the whole time. I thought he no, entered no, the no. garden as a snake. No, he got punished by God into the form of a snake. Oh. Wait, really? Wait, yeah, yeah, no, was never wait, punished. What? No, what? no, no. It's, uh, he was a talking snake. That's how yeah, he. That's how he. That's how he came to Eve it was as a snake. I told. I used to go devil. to church every Sunday when I was a kid. Yeah. The story they told was that Satan was punished for tempting Eve in no, the body was, of a snake. No, Satan was, was a fallen in. angel. Yeah, he was blending in. As a snake. Or something. That is not what I was told at Sunday the school. Satanic Bible. Oh. <laughs> the devil uh, I was probably searched the wrong. Oh no, snakes were punished because he took uh, their form. Well, I'm getting so many mixed things. The Bible never says Satan was a snake. He was cursed to crawl on his belly. Yeah, as a snake. I, I'm keeping Adam in... You know what I Adam. always thought? Dummy. Uh, the kind of underlying story to the whole Adam and Eve and the snake thing was that it was just his penis and that she was tempted by his penis oh. and that's how they like mm, like learned, really of, getting into learned the... of like the earthly stuff and that's why they were kicked wow. out. So What's... maybe Satan was just Adam's penis the whole time. <laughs> Had a mind of his own. <laughs> that that is a good way of looking. I at think it. Adam should go in bad um, instead of real bad. Yeah, because he he was just kind of stupid. I don't think yeah, he was like actively. Dumb evil or anything yeah i think he was just really dumb. well neither was abraham he was just extremely stupid yeah but like a like a special kind okay what about david <laughs> i think david, david was fucking cool david was very cool david and killed goliath with a slingshot yep i think david goes into god tier yeah goliath goes into real bad because yeah, he lost he to lost a st- david, what the fuck? <laughs> he lost to a small guy <laughs> in a slingshot fucking dummy what about Solomon? I don't know Solomon. He's the prime I think, I think he's the king. King Solomon, Gion. right? I'm not I sure. I think he's a pretty important person. I don't know if he did anything. Also called... Jedediah. Jedediah, yeah. He was really wealthy. Oh, wait. Solomon was... I know this one. Ooh, let's hear it. This All is right. the one with the baby. Solomon was, like, supposed to be the smartest king. The so baby. Basically... Did the one that put the baby in the river? No, oh. so, so there's a baby... And this woman's like, hey, that's my baby. And another woman's like, no, that's my baby. So they went to Solomon and they were like, how do we know whose baby it is? Like, and he said, birth to it. he said, cut the baby in half and oh, split it. And that is pretty smart. In his head, he said, whichever one doesn't want to cut it. So one of the women was like, yeah, get the fucking saw. And the other one was like, no, don't cut it. And he was like, you're the mom. That's his story. That is that's pretty smart. Genius. I think he's going God tier. I'll no, give him best of the pretty, best. It's pretty good. <laughs> What a what a strategy! They, I, wow, they really were smart. Why do I know so much about Solomon? Queens used to like travel to ask him all these questions, and he could answer all the questions. That's what he was known for. Smart that's, boy. That's pretty cool. What about Elijah? I'm out. Oh, <laughs> damn! You were on a roll for <laughs> yeah, a second. No, that's my one. Isn't Elijah who you leave the wine out for on Passover? <laughs> he comes down your chimney that's to drink like your so wine. <laughs> seriously, seriously, you do. <laughs> It comes in with his reindeer. Oh, you absolutely do. I'm not kidding. Really? That's yeah. okay. Well, let me see. Who was Elijah in the Bible? Prophet Elijah is one of the most interesting and colorful people in the Bible, and God used him during an important time to oppose a wicked king and bring revival to the land. Damn. There's a lot about Elijah. His life was filled with turmoil. At times he was bold and decisive, and at others fearful and tentative. Tentative. Okay. Apparently, he ascended to heaven before his death. That's pretty cool. Wait, I want to see. Like I want to see if I'm right. Hacking. Find the uh, the Elijah. Wine I'll just thing. do Elijah wine. Elijah's cup. Make you late for the Ariana Grande concert. No, we're not missing yeah, the Ariana go. Grande concert. Wow, I was right. Wow, he comes in through the door that you open. <laughs> see. So you just leave your door <laughs> wide open. Comes and he drinks your wine. <laughs> ah, I see. Well, that'll do it then. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm down to put him in like. I'm just kind of cool. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna be good. I'm gonna go good because yeah, that's yeah. he just gets free wine. Oh, and there's Elisha. Oh, he know. comes in and drinks your beer. <laughs> Elisha. I don't know who Elisha is. Maybe do I? Oh, I just I still have Elisha wine. Elisha summoned a bear. That's pretty cool. That is pretty intense. They could just be making all of this up in the chat. And we're like, <laughs> oh, that's no awesome. Idea. He Unless killed the Loch Ness Monster. Children. Whoa. That's pretty good. 
That's a good run. Strong seed. He flew on a flaming chariot. Oh, he killed a bunch of kids with bears. Oh, that's the kids made fun of. <laughs> what? Wait, how did he kill them with bears? Apparently, he, he summoned a bear and mauled all the kids. All right, oh, yeah, come, there are the best of the best. There's many well-known accounts of Elijah's service as a prophet. He healed the he healed the waters of Jericho and was jeered by youths upon whom he called a curse, resulting in their death by <laughs> mauling bears. Holy fuck! This guy's a wow. douchebag. I don't know. He's kind of cool. This is you a good can call bears with a curse. I think uh, that's pretty sick. Yeah, I'm gonna go best of the best. This guy controls. <laughs> yeah, agree. He's an evil Elijah Thornberry. Yeah, Eliza Thornberry. Could he have done it better and like for a better cause? Sure, but he yeah. could still do it. Yeah, just some kids that called him old and bald, yeah. and he's like, "That's the end of you." <laughs> If you use it, it's like the Age of Empires hacks where you could get bears riding tricycles and stuff. Let's do Jezebel in here because this is pretty good. This had a lot of good stuff. Jezebel. Jezebel's sexual immorality and idol worship that the Lord... I that was Jezebel. Yeah, Lord Jesus himself referred to her in a warning to the church. Hmm. Did she, like, try to sleep with Jesus? That'd be nuts. I mean, could you blame her, though? Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of the few people you try to sleep with when I see him. <laughs> so did she do anything besides just try and fuck with Jezebel? Where's that one? Right oh, there. Oh, there it is. Site. Yeah, this was a good site. It had a Synonymous lot of stuff. Synonymous with evil. Oh. She's oh. the epitome of the Who's wicked the enemy woman. of the great prophet Elijah. <gasps> Whoa! She tries to get the wine first. <laughs> How is she okay? Like, all right, children make fun of him and he calls bears. She's... No, no, enemy. that's Elisha. That oh, was Elisha. Yeah, yeah. Let's call him Alicia, just to make it clear. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jezebel's end was not a pretty one, although it was more gruesome than most, perhaps as an object lesson to all those who set themselves against the one true God. All right, I'm going to give her, like, maybe meh. Yeah, she's like, all right, I guess. Finally, the boy Ahab. Ahab. We're Woo! there. We did it. Ahab. He was the captain of a boat that searched for Moby Dick. That's what I know him for. <laughs> So he did disobey the Lord. To Jezebel. Yeah. Oh, good Ooh. for him. Which is not good because Jezebel worshipped a different. She Lord. was pagan. Yeah, she worshipped the Baal. Exit Prime Spark. Mm. Well, I'm a little confused on what's happening in this. In the place where dogs licked up Naboth's blood, dogs will lick up your blood. Yes, yours. Upon hearing this, Ahab tore his clothes, put on sackcloth, and fasted. He lay hmm. in sackcloth and went around meekly. I thought you were going to say he took off his clothes and put blood on himself. <laughs> it sounds like he was scared out of his clothes. Yeah. yeah. So he's kind of a <gasps> The pussy. event that sealed Ahab's doom was his murder of an innocent man. <gasps> ah, so just like Elisha, but with bears. Yes. Without bears. No, they weren't innocent. They heckled him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Ahab coveted a vineyard belonging to a man named Naboth. The king offered to buy the vineyard, but Naboth refused because the law forbade him to sell it. While Ahab sulked about in his place, his wife arranged Naboth's murder. Whoa, Jezebel. That sounds like Jezebel. That sounds like didn't Ahab, Ahab. Ahab didn't do, like, just let his wife do kind of everything. Yeah, that harpy. Once the vineyard's owner was out of the way, Ahab took the vineyard for himself. Oh, good for him. Wow. That's opportunistic. That I'm going to go with, like... Good. Good. <laughs> Yeah, he's all right, guys. <laughs> Fine. These rankings don't mean anything. What do you... Our guide tier rankings are right on the yeah. money. And then everything below that. Eh, I like our best of the best. Our best of the best is pretty good, too. Now, God. God. This is this is going to be a tough one to rank. Let me type this Where's in. God in the Bible? Yeah, can we, what did God do? I mean, he did flood the earth a couple times, right? Yeah. And then the rainbow was his promise that he would never flood it again. I have actually never heard that before. I learned it at the same Sunday school that told me Satan was turned into a snake as punishment. That could be very wrong. Where did you go to Sunday school? A very, I mean, I was very, like, religious for a little time. So I always went out of my way to, like, go to, like, church and shit. I got baptized twice. Whoa. We should all... Have you ever been baptized? No, I'm Jewish. Me too. No. <laughs> hey, it's never too late. I was gonna say, we should go get baptized. <laughs> yeah. That's a fun video. That would make my mom sick. <laughs> 
<laughs> like to the prime okay sixer in the recent piano man and roasted well it's like you get baptized to, to be sorry. christian and circumcised to be Jewish. And oh, yeah. Yeah. so what if you them both like at the same time what if you're circumcised while being baptized oh my wow. god the ultimate religion did God's kind of cool. He like told that guy to murder his son, and then was like, "Psych, idiot." Yeah, yeah he, he was the first prankster. Yeah, he yeah, was, he was the first true. prank channel. Yeah. That am I a descendant of God? <laughs> <laughs> that really was like a like an epic style troll. He yeah. fucking Gangnam styled on Abraham. What about Jesus? Jesus is God. Well, okay, we don't need to get into the yeah, weeds of it. They're two separate characters. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> it's just he's God. The same fucking person. I mean, Jesus was like pretty cool, but he's also kind of boring. I yeah, he like. was kind of lame. He's, like he didn't even sleep with Jezebel. True. Like, we true. also don't know if Jezebel even tried to fuck him. We're just assuming. <laughs> no, didn't it say that? No, I don't think it ever said that. It just said that she'd spit in the face of God. Oh, I thought she said he. It said he. She tried to. Yeah, sleep with, him. with the Bible, you gotta read between the lines. I mean, he like can the whole water into wine stuff's pretty cool. He's like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he also he also had the gamer rage moment where he flipped the table and cried Jesus about it. Jesus didn't. Yeah, he flipped the table once. How was he? Then he how was he allowed to do that? Uh, well, Wait, was, Moses hit a rock and he wasn't allowed in heaven. How well, Jesus because this was that was Jesus's Jesus like one and only mistake. Is that why he got killed? No, <laughs> he flipped the table. I don't think so. It wasn't that special of a table. Oh. But that was like his one and only like non-perfect moment. I mean, like being. Alive after you're dead is pretty cool too, I guess. Yeah, he literally respawned. That is true. He, yeah. he we'll give him God tier. Yeah. We'll give him we'll give him God tier. The extra life perk. What about Nehemia? Bless you. <laughs> 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 okay. Who was Nehemia in the Bible? It, so it seems like the only thing he did is maintain a relationship with God. Kind of lame. Yeah, they can go in there. I'll give it him sounds bad. like he asked permission to rebuild Jerusalem's walls. He's even asking for mis- permission yeah, Jesus. to start building. Well, God gave him the permission. So, so he's a contractor for God. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, I'll give him that. Yeah. <laughs> what about Eve? I think Eve should go in real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why? She was fun. She took an apple from a snake. Could you? That's kind of weird. Yeah. Well, the, not from a snake. He just said she could take it. Oh, it was more she, like, take this. Yeah, and she was like, hey. I'm, I'm just She's saying. Like, okay, that. talking snake. Hey, picture this. You go to Old McDonald's Farm, and you're walking, mm-hmm. and a snake comes up and says, hey, Old bitch, Mc- take that Old apple. Old McDonald's Farm. Yeah, that's fine. If <laughs> if a talking snake tells you to take an apple, I'm going to be like, all right, I'll take that apple. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't you know if I you would ignore the snake who just <laughs> it did it and be more focused on the talking snake. I well, know, but that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't dare ignore that snake. I wouldn't be like, all right. I feel like I would take it and like pretend and then like bring it down to the lab to have it tested <laughs> <laughs> and make sure I'm not like on something. All right. that, that snake we just talking. I'm just about. saying. My thought would be that snake just talked. It's not letting me out of here alive if I don't listen. Maybe to you it. should go in real bad too. Then what the yeah. hell? I'm not blaming her. You know. <laughs> That's some scary shit. Did she even know what a snake was? There we go. I mean, I guess I could put her in med because she, like, her first thought was, like, let me share this with Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Which, like... That's nice. That's that's kind of nice. She's like, this is this uh, magical talking snake apple. You want to try something? I don't want to be the only one who dies. We don't have labs invented (laughs) yet, so... (laughs) You don't know that. They could have had a very advanced technology back then. That's true. Put her in real bad. (laughs) I don't think she deserves to be real bad, though. I actually think she'd be more just like bad. I don't know. I'm leaning towards bad as opposed to he real was bad. Like the the first like pyramid scheme girl. I feel like, <laughs> <laughs> like she was hey, like Adam, some, some seen guy was like while. here, give your friend this cleaning hair product, and, and she was like, all right, yeah, yeah. True. falling for a pyramid scheme yeah, is pretty yeah. dumb. I'll give Eve her real was bad. The, the MLM of the past. Yeah. yeah. Thanks the Prime, Blocky, and Jose. What about Esther? What do we know about Esther? Esther became queen of Persia and rescued her people from a murderous plot to annihilate them. Yeah, I think oh, Esther was pretty cool. Pretty, that's pretty, how did she do that? Did she kill them herself? Um, probably, probably not. No. Let's yeah. See. I remember she's in the holiday where you cook the triangle cookies. Oh, the I love Hamantasha. Yeah. Hamantaschen slap. Same with Rugwa. Mm. They're both fun to say, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're saying. 
Oh, how much are they? Like little cook, like little triangle cookies with jelly in yeah, them. Yeah, they've got like wow. some, and it's like a goopy jelly. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> You know where you can get Hamantaschen? Where? Whole Foods. Oh, wow. They have, really? they have Rugla too. Monique came home with a bag the other day from one of her patients from Whole Foods. They gave her desserts. And I was like, did you just bring home Rugla? And she was like, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm, I'm reading bits and pieces, but there were virgins brought to a king. Fast forward. When Esther's turn to be with the king came, she asked for nothing except the Hige, the king's eunuch, who had charged a what? <laughs> this isn't legible. Yeah, I'm just gonna give Esther good. Sounds yeah, pretty I'm, cool. I agree. I'm not. Her story's not interesting enough to keep me glued to it. She had a lovely figure and was beautiful. All right, oh, we'll give her best of the best. best. Of the best. <laughs> <laughs> Mordecai. Oh, that's a cool name. It is a cool Wait, name. See the, uh, Hanukkah, see the Hanukkah guy? Maybe he's from Borderlands. They're the ones that are that went in the cave and had the oil, right? For oh time. yeah. Maybe not. Oh, King Xerxes is in this chapter. Oh, he was a guy. Jew from the tribes of Benjamin. He lived mm. in Susa. His great grandfather Kish had been taken captive by Nebuchadnezzar. He acted as a father to Esther. Nice guy. Uh, Mordecai advised her not to reveal her Jewish background, and then Esther was crowned king, queen. So he helped her become queen. He was called Mordecai. Oh, that's who's in uh... <laughs> League of Legends. <laughs> yeah, League. he could be based on Mordecai, though. Yeah, I'm sure. Probably. They seem similar. Um, he worked at the palace gate. Doesn't sound like he did anything super cool, though. Oh, he stopped an assassination plot by telling his daughter Esther to tell Xerxes. Oh, so he's just a snitch. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like it. That's not very cool. His name would be recorded in the King's Chronicles as the one who took action to preserve the king's life. All right, let's make our decision. I'll he's go. Got, I'll go good. Are, yeah, That's fine. Okay. All right, you figure out Hamantash in there, and I'll yeah. look up Job. All right, I'll do Haman. I think he's a pretty bad dude. Who you think Haman? He made Hamantash? Uh, no. He wore the three pointed hat. Wait. That's Hamantash. He wore oh, the triangle hat. I yeah, know. that's why you make the cookies. Yeah, yeah. You make the cookies in the image of his hat. Yeah, and you eat them. Wow. Wow. In the sign of dominance. Wow, that is pretty wild. <laughs> uh, Job equals Giga Chad, so we got a lot of Job fans in here. I don't see mm. much about Haman. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it. If someone rolls a stone, it will roll back on them. I mean, not necessarily. Like if you just like roll a stone. Like, completely fine with no chance of it rolling back. That is a good point. And then hmm. Moses might hit it. That's true. true. Yeah. True. He's known for that. I'm just not a fan of stones. This seems very underwhelming. I'm not impressed with Haman at all. I think he was just kind of generally bad. Yeah, I'm just going to put him down here. Yeah. Tell Job. me about Job. Apparently everyone likes Job. Yeah, people Job like Job. Job has ten children and Ooh. wealth. But Ooh. here's something crazy. Sam presented himself... Before God, and God asked Satan what he thought of Job. Satan accused Job of honoring God only because God had blessed him. So God allowed Satan to take away Job's wealth and children. Wow, that's kind of a that's move God down one. Though. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucked up. That's Later, really rude. God really allowed up. Satan to afflict Job physically. What? what? The fuck? Job grieved deeply, but did not charge God with wrongdoing. I feel dude. like maybe we should put God down yeah. the best of the best and put Job up Job in God tier. Yeah, yeah, I'm bringing I'm bringing Job up. Job got done so dirty. What did yeah. he do wrong? Yeah, that's kind Imagine of weird. your house just gets struck by lightning right now. <laughs> <laughs> best of the best. <laughs> wow. Job's friends were certain that Job must have sinned in order to deserve punishment and argued with him about it, but Job maintained his innocence, though he confessed that he wanted to die. Wow. Yeah, he literally, God gave yeah, Job God depression. Like, yeah. Job never lost his faith in God, even under the most heartbreaking circumstances. Oh, Job. All right, Job, I think, goes in yeah, God tier. Yeah, cool. Job's definite God tier. I moved God down. Yeah, That's that fucked. sucks in that, that story. That was fucked up. All right, Isaiah. You do, what's the one after that? Uh, hold on. It was Jeremiah. Oh, he was a bullfrog. Bullfrog. Oh, true. <laughs> He's the prime sedge in the Reese of Dona Fly and what Tequila. Why is that a reach? It's the same name. I don't know. What did someone give me something cool about Isaiah? Uh, none of this in this summary is any any cool. 
He was a bullfrog. It's <laughs> <That's> not helpful. <laughs> it's just not, it's not fucking helpful at all. Make that man a mod. He cursed someone. Nice. He saw the future. That's kind of cool. His book was boring. <laughs> <laughs> I think meh. I'm just going to yeah, go meh. Kind of meh. This is very meh. Hey, what about Jeremiah? <laughs> yeah, what did Jeremiah actually He was do? known as the weeping prophet. Right. Um, it seems like... I've read five paragraphs. He cry a lot. It seems like all he did were people were like saying stuff and he was like, you don't have enough faith. No, oh, oh, he's one of the. Bad. Yeah, he's going real, real bad. bad. Yeah. One of those he was fucking given assholes. The task of delivering an unpopular, convicting message to Judah, when that caused him great anguish. Wow. All right. What about Daniel? Oh, pretty cool. <laughs> there's the book of Daniel. Daniel had to do something cool. That's a, like a really common, normal name. I imagine he did something of note. Daniel was thrown into fire and did not burn. That's pretty cool. That's intense. Wait, is Matthew? Oh, yeah, here it is. Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den, but not without a prayer that Daniel's God would rescue him. The next day, Daniel was found alive and well. He told the king that God had sent an angel to shut the lion's mouth, so he had remained unharmed. Do you think that was Samson? Yeah, Samson was God. Was the angel. No, the angel. Oh, the angel. That would be pretty cool. I wasn't being stupid. I was on topic. (laughs) Wow, look at this guy's name. Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, that's the one. Nebuchadnezzar. Wow, wait, you nailed that. Yeah. Holy shit. It's pretty, I think it's said a lot. Yeah. Religious stuff. Daniel well, seems cool. Heard. I'll give him best of the best. Matthew must be on this, right? Um, oh, hey, he's also this guy's next. So what do you know about him, Danny? And I only know his name because it's fun to say. Okay, I'm just going to give him meh for the cool <laughs> name. I don't feel like learning about him. <laughs> Here, Nebuchadnezzar, I'll read you one paragraph. He's considered the greatest king of the Babylonian Empire and is credited with the construction of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Wow. It's mentioned His name is mentioned 90 times in the Bible. There you go. Yeah, that's me. What about Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego? <laughs> All right, I'm going to type what? in Shad, and if it doesn't... I don't know. It's, I, I think this is actually just a curse is I said. Is that multiple people? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Slowly burnt down. Oh, it is three different people. What should we learn from the account of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abed- Abednego? Yeah, what did, like, what did they do? Three young men defying the mighty king Nebuchadnezzar. Ne- Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> thrown into a fiery furnace. Ooh. Has captured the hearts of young children as well as adults for centuries. Really? Why? I like, never so just like They were like, You're, I don't like you king, yeah. and I ran into the fire. For their refusal to <laughs> obey the king's decree to bow down to the idol. Oh. Three charges were brought against them. They paid no heed to the king and his commands. They did not serve the king's god, and they refused to worship the golden statue the king himself had set up. Yeah, they were thrown in a furnace. So, did they just burn alive? I think so. Yeah. Kind of lame. Oh, is yeah, that the is. furnace on the picture? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. just, yeah they were kind <gasps> of. Bad. We're on Jonah. Oh, Je- Jonah and the whale. Jonah is Jonah cool? I don't Jonah's know. Jonah got eaten by yeah, the whale. Got eaten by fucking whale. Why? Because Captain Abed. Don't do. <laughs> They're in the same book. They are. I, I think. Wait, no. Captain Abed is... Ahab. Ahab. Captain Ahab. Ahab. <laughs> what the hell am I saying? All right. Here you go. Jonah, proud, stubborn, disobedient, unfaithful, a grumbler, and altogether a bad-tempered, oh, he, cantankerous old curmudgeon. Because he ran away. Because <laughs> God was trying to teach him a lesson. Too. Ariana Here's Grande hasn't started yet. Also, we haven't even gotten Ariana Grande in the Bible. When does it start? Is it five? He got, all we need to know is he got eaten by a whale. He, I mean, he lived inside of a whale, so it's like kind of cool. Yeah, I'll go best of the best. Cool. Right. Cain, he killed Abel. Was yep. Abel that like mean to him? No, it was the first murder ever. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cain committed the first murder. Well, by man, because God, I guess, was killing people since the start. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's day one stuff. Yeah. I'm going to go Cain into best of the best. <laughs> Like, the first murderer has to count for something. That is pretty yeah, cool. that is true. That's pretty original. Honestly. Now, this is where it's going to get controversial. Right. Satan. God tier? What are we thinking? I don't... Aside from this whole snake thing, I don't know what Satan actually does in the rest of the Bible. So, he doesn't do anything, really. He's Satan, just kind of, like, the, like there in the background, right? Like, as the foil. Well, yeah, I don't know. He talk, do yeah, anything. He's, he's God's foil, honestly. <laughs> he's kind of like, hey, I don't like what God's doing. Let me kind of go against it. But he was an angel. Yeah, he was an angel. Yeah, Lucifer. Yeah. He was the highest angel. Oh. But he wanted to be above God. He did. He wanted to sit on the throne above God and then 
guy was like, not he's, a, you know, he's an achiever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, why stop when you're not at the top? Right, but we also know he, who, who, he, who did God consult? Oh, Job. He took away Job's children. Well, because God told him yeah, to. Yeah, God told him yeah. to. Yeah. So, is he really a bad guy? I don't know. I don't, he kind of just does what God says. I think God might be like the the actual bad guy, and Satan like is trying to save us. Yeah. Anime, <laughs> yeah, and they just didn't finish it yet. Yeah. What's that? What are you calling? I gotta tell her we're doing important things. Yeah, yeah. tell her we're busy. Yeah. Ask her what Satan does in the Bible. Yeah, ask her if she likes Satan. Quick question. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he does torture people. That's super yeah, that's not true. nice. I feel like he's hyped up You're to be this really evil guy, but he doesn't really do much. He just kind of... Well, he's never, like, directly done anything, I don't think. God just sends bad people to him. Yeah. He really just kind of does what God says, he's I think. He's kind of God's bitch, like, yeah. most of the time. Uh, I'll just... I'll give him... I'll give him bad. Yeah. That's fine. He's not as bad as Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> or Jeremiah, yeah. Mary was cool. She was a virgin who gave birth to That is That Jesus. is pretty cool. I'll give her God tier. Because she gave birth to that guy. That's a pretty a, a big accomplishment. Yeah. Joseph, did he do anything of note? Joseph? Yeah. Didn't we already have a Joseph? Mm-mm. Oh, we did Jacob. Yeah, we had Jacob. Who was the... He was the son of Jacob, apparently. Joseph is kind of like the actual first cuck, though, because his wife gave birth to a baby that wasn't his. I see the Mary's husband. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mary and Joseph. He's the biggest cuck. Well, not yet. Yeah, it could be argued he's not the biggest cuck, but he was certainly the he first. He is the biggest cuck. Could you imagine if you're the guy who's fucking your wife puts God inside of your <laughs> wife? That is the biggest fucking cuck of all time. True. <laughs> that is. Matt, what do you think about cuckoldry? What do I think about it? Yeah. It's fine. Okay, so we're up to Joseph. Would you put him God tier or best of the best? There needs to be like the big cuck tier. Oh. And it's like his own. Wouldn't, uh... Wait, was Joseph married to Rebecca? No, no, Joseph was Mary. And Mary was oh, the virgin who gave Joseph. birth. Didn't yeah, we already yeah. do a Joseph? That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we Joseph. did, we did. Yeah, the yeah. second Joseph. Yeah, Joseph was... That was the coat guy. Yeah. Guy because if we're talking about cuckolding... Rebecca's husband is kind of a cuck too because God opened up her womb and put two twins in yeah, but she didn't have a husband. Yeah, she did. Yeah, but yeah, but he doesn't his, have his wife named. Like, gave birth to God, and it wasn't his kid. That's pretty fucked up. Like that's 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 that's, that's like some big hug. Greek myso- mythology shit. Yeah, that's true. All right, I'll give him best of the best. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, of course, of course. What about John the Baptist? This looks like a Magic the Gathering card. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what John the Baptist did. I don't either. It's a cool name. Was he a Baptist? I would imagine he kind of like brought baptism around the globe. He just randomly went around and dunked people in water. (laughs) He was the first prophet called by God since Malachi. When Mary was carrying Jesus in her womb, she visited Elizabeth and John leapt into his mother's womb for joy at the sound of (laughs) Mary's voice. Man, that must have been a crazy jump to go like right into her uh, womb. Yeah. He's acrobatic. Yeah, wow. He ate locusts and wild honey. Mm. Wow. A delicacy. People would visit him. Put him in there. I think it's pretty impressive that he was able to leap into a womb. baptism? No, I don't think so. Oh. Well, maybe. I don't think he could have if he was a Baptist. But he was the one who baptized. Yeah, they're, like, they're calling him John the Baptist. Um, like, oh, he's the Baptist. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, it'd be like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll go with I'll go with good. Sure. Pilates. What did he do? <laughs> like the exercise. He was very flexible. Who was Pontius Pilati? No, this doesn't seem very interesting. Yeah, I thought it was pronounced pilot. It is. Okay. Oh, it's just like pilot. Pontius Pilot, but I'm not <laughs> Pontius Pilati. <laughs> You're joking. I don't know. I thought that was how you'd say it. It's an old style name. It's true. Like job. Yeah. People talk about this guy a lot. I think because his name is a band now, isn't it? Stone Temple Pilots? I thought there was Pontius Pilots, too. <laughs> he gave up Jesus. John literally baptized Jesus. Oh. Yeah, but, I mean, I could have done that, too. He just, like, yeah. pulled him in some water. True. Yeah, we were all capable of dunking yeah, Jesus in water. He was just lucky he was there at the right time. True. The way you said 
he gave up Jesus sounded like he went on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> he gave up Jesus. Oh, for he months. he killed Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, Wait, where is no. that here? Oh, here it is. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Jesus. As soon as Je- oh wait they oh he authorized the flogging and crucifixion uh, of Jesus. So like, uh, oh. Okay, so he's 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 real he's, bad. He's yeah. pretty bad. He's, he's, that's not he's a good not guy. Not the best. Judas. Judas. He oh, this one's a hot topic. He was yeah. one of the apostles who betrayed. Yeah. Jesus. That's true. I but think. was it for a cool reason? He's typically remembered for one thing: betrayal of Jesus. Pretty impressive legacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, say why he betrayed him. Um, extra bread he, or like, something. Pushed a rock or flipped the table or something. He betrayed Jesus with a kiss. What does that mean? No, he turned him gay. <laughs> that was his betrayal. That was the real twist of the Bible. I don't understand. Jesus, Jesus knew say why. that he would do it from the beginning, apparently, which kind of is Jesus's fault. I feel like. Okay, we see that Satan entered into Judas before Judas went to see the chief priest and set things up to betray Jesus. Satan possessed Judas in hopes of using him to destroy Jesus' ministry and get him out of the way. And Satan used a kiss, a sign of affection, to unleash a surge of hatred. Who did he kiss? I don't know. This is kind of weird. At the Last Supper, Jesus predicted his betrayal and identified the betrayer. Jesus answered, it is the one... To whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Then, dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas. I feel like you know at that he point. You could have just said it's Judas. Yeah, like, <laughs> well, I mean, he was hey like, guys, he like looks gonna... him in the eyes as he's dipping right. the bread in and hands it to him. I know what you're going to do. Lot of this... and it lets it happen. A lot he, of the... Did he kiss the bread? Is that what it was? <laughs> like, reading this, it makes it sound like. Like, they're actually just coming up with excuses for God, because after this it says, God allowed this to happen. Yeah. He knew that he was going to betray him. I feel like, I haven't read much of the Bible, but I feel like this is a lot like mythology, where the gods just kind of fuck people up. Yeah. And everybody's like, yeah. <laughs> Somebody said he kissed Jesus so the guards or soldiers would know. Yeah, I saw was. that a few times in the chat, but I don't see it here. Oh, so we're like, Jesus dipped the bread in the sauce, and the sauce must have smelled, and like, funny, oh. and then Judas ate it and yeah. kissed Jesus. Or it was red sauce, so we got, like, and the, the lipstick The guards, like, oh. smelled his lips and was like, it's garlicky. <laughs> that's the one. That's probably Jesus what happened. around with a little kiss print on yeah. his cheek of marinara. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> the person that Judas kissed was to be arrested and taken away. Such an odd... Yeah. They could have just like pointed How him out. How right? we know? <laughs> I'm gonna smooch him. <laughs> it just seemed like an excuse. Like he could have just said, "Like that's him." Yes. When you see me kiss him, you'll know. <laughs> I'm going to kiss every man here, and the one that gives me an erection <laughs> is Jesus. Sir, so couldn't you just shake his hand or point to him? Mm-mm. Nope. Doesn't work. That's not how we do things. I'll give him bad. Yeah, yeah. he's bad. Okay, I gotta pee real bad. Don't do anything okay, without me. Wait, do start your research. All right, okay, don't say back. anything. Who are we talking about, Stephen? Stephen. Yeah. Nothing is known about his personal life. Uh, he gave food to widows. He was like in charge of feeding widows. Hmm. Um, That's pretty meh. Yeah, just put him in meh. Let's go to. Wow. He had a chronic illness. Which one? I don't know. It just says he had a chronic illness. Paul says Timothy, Timothy had a genuine faith, the same as that which lived in his mother and grandmother. It says uh, Paul for, told him what to eat. No, yeah, he seemed like he was kind of a little bitch. Yeah, a little bit. Paul just said do this, and he said okay. Yeah, it doesn't do much. No, he's kind of yeah. He, he really just, just kind of listens Paul's to the bitch. words of Paul. Yeah. Well, I'm not impressed. I'm gonna go bad. Yeah. Hey, oh, down here with Satan. Satan, yeah, Satan and Timothy <laughs> are on the same level. I love that Satan isn't in real bad and God isn't in God tier. <laughs> tier literally. Honestly, God should just be good, I, I think. Oh, God's man. done some fucked He's up moving shit. He's down the further yeah, we go through. Yeah, down. he has done some fucked shit. We're not ranking them off of what the Bible... Like, we're ranking them off of what they did. And he did some shit. Silas. Oh, yeah, sorry. He was the leader in the early church, a fellow missionary with Paul, Jesus. Uh, he was a Jew who, it seems, was also a Roman citizen. He was also referred to as Silvanus. Oh, wow, that's 
He's in World of Warcraft. Wow. Uh, he's a leader and teacher in the Jerusalem Church. On this journey, Paul and Silas traveled to Greece. All right, he's pretty fucking boring. Yeah, he sounds boring. Does he fight anyone? Does he have like we a haven't climactic... had anyone who's like smite yeah. people in a while? Yeah, we... where it's all the, all the cool people. Yeah, we don't have any fucking cool people here. God, this yeah, he's boring. I'm giving him this bad. Is real, but one of the most boring. I've read. Now Abel's pretty cool because he died. Ooh. He was the first victim of murder. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> he that's got a pretty important role. Yeah. He's up there. What did he do to get murdered? I actually don't know why he was murdered. I think Cain it just he just snapped one day. <laughs> <laughs> he pleased God. Uh, he's known for bringing God a pleasing sacrifice from the firstborn of his. Flock Cain, Abel's older brother, oh. was a worker on the ground and did not to bring save him oh. from the devil. <laughs> Cain did not bring God a sacrifice. Cain was angry at God's displeasure and murdered Abel. Uh, you know, this should be illegal when you click on something and it immediately downloads a fucking PDF. Yeah, agreed. That should be outlawed. God said that Abel's blood cried out to him from the ground. So God used Abel's blood. Where, since the blood was in the ground, he said the ground would no longer yield its strength to Cain, and he would have to be a wanderer and fugitive. Oh. But why did he kill Abel? Because he was mad. Abel gave a sacrifice to God, Cain didn't, and God was like, hey, nice job, Abel. And then Cain was like, what the fuck? And killed him. This uh, says that they both did, but he just chose Abel's instead of Cain's. Like, oh, he liked wow. it better. All right. This is why he needs to get his shit together. Yeah. I'm going to give so him... Like he was kind of... He's better than Abel Cain. Abel seems like he was better than Cain, and then Cain just snapped and killed him. Yeah. yeah I'm going to give them both best of the best. All right. Because murder's, murder's a two-player game. That's true. That's it was true. the first murder, and he gets points for that. Yeah. Positive points for that. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's pretty impressive. <laughs> because we have a very clear grading scale here. You can't have murder without a victim, so they should both exist that's in the same tier. That's true. Somebody said that website is wrong. What about eh, it's it's good. You're questioning the word of the Lord? Oh, Mary Magdalene. That sounds kind of cool. What did Mary Magdalene do? She was a woman from whom Jesus cast out seven demons. Whoa! Holy shit. A woman capable of carrying seven demons is high on the list. She was a prostitute. That sounds about right. That's pretty impressive. I should put her in best of the best. Yeah, I'll give her best. Was she good though? Well, she was after the demons came After out. Jesus mm -hmm. cast seven demons from her, she became one of his followers. She All became right. associated with the woman in the city who was a sinner. Ah. Uh, pretty cool title. I'll give her... Cool. I'll give her... Yeah. yeah. Good. 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 Yeah. yeah. No reason to get too carried away. Agreed. What about Peter? Who was Peter in the Bible? There's three sub Acre, Ben, and Goose in the Prime Psychopath. Simon Peter, also known as Sepheth. Okay. I like Peter. One of the first followers of Jesus. He was an outspoken and ardent disciple, one of Jesus' closest friends, an apostle, and a pillar of the church. He was enthusiastic, Lame. strong willed, impulsive, and at times brash. I sound like he didn't actually do anything. Lame. Yeah, he just followed Jesus. A lot of followers. Yeah, but I, he can go in like meh. Yeah, meh. Yeah, I think that's definitely a meh. What about Herod? Oh, he was the first pope. Oh. Meh. Meh. Oh, Peter was? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's whatever. <laughs> now, if Herod was the first pope. Yeah. Was... Herod the Great. Oh, that's the one I'm looking this for. This guy had to be like a conqueror or something, right? Looks like he was Roman. He died in Jericho after an excruciatingly painful putr putrefying illness of uncertain cause known to, pos known to posterity as Herod's evil. He tried to stab himself to get out of it. That's pretty metal. He attempted suicide by stabbing. Wow. Which his cousin stopped, which probably only inflicted more pain on him because now he's like stabbed himself a few times. And it says in some stories he did it. Oh. He enlarged and updated the temple in Jerusalem. Hmm. I'll go ahead and give him a... Yeah, he seems kind I'm of I'm not really like impressed. And ruthless. He saved all the boring ones for the end. Yeah, well, except the Antichrist. That's kind of lit. Uh, yeah. That sounds kind of wild. John. John. I'll get him on the phone. <laughs> the Gospel of John. John was the disciple Jesus loved. He loved everyone, asshole. 
He tried. Oh, Herod tried killing babies. Were the babies too but strong for him? He didn't succeed, clearly. Yeah. So he's fine. <laughs> so I think they went in order of the Bible with these. Oh, we're getting into like late Bible. Yeah, and uh, the Old Testament slaps compared to the New Testament. Yeah. Definitely. It was like straight up anime versus just like a novel. Yeah. Hot take. <laughs> yeah. Old That's Testament. Why they didn't come out with the third part. Uh, I'm not. I'm already just not impressed. I'm gonna go bad. bad. Yeah, he's, he's boring. Gonna, yeah, he's also, they use a picture of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Zacharias. All right, oh, Zacharias cool was an influential speaker, writer, and evangelist. Evangelist. Why did I say that? Um, he considered himself an atheist until a suicide attempt at age 17. While in the hospital, he encountered the Gospel of John and became a Christian. They had hospitals. Yeah, I'm confused by this. Is the New Testament written in like 2001? <laughs> After Y2K was proven false, <laughs> and John used his home computer. Um, so did he do anything he cool? He was relatively free like from it. scandal or failures. Okay. So he was boring? He had a sexually inappropriate relationship with a younger woman, mostly via text and email in 2017. What am I reading? You absolutely what? are not reading the Bible, <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm on the same site I've used for everybody. The question was, who was Zacharias in the Bible? <laughs> Give him God tier. He found right. out how to text. This man was a time traveler. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll give him best of the best. Who is he, who is he texting? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, help me go home here. Wait, I think this one's more accurate. There are a couple of men, prominent men in the Bible named Zachariah. Yeah, I don't oh. think that's the one we needed. Oh, but he, we'll keep him in best of the best. It would have been God tier if he wasn't flirting with younger women. Oh, he was actually Did the first person mentioned Blizzard? in connection with the Christmas story. It's just being updated right now. I was reading, I was like, this is getting weird. All right, Elizabeth, Matt. Let's see if we can find her. All right, let me... What, what era do you want? <laughs> <laughs> if we could have New Testament, Old Testament, that'd be good. All right, so not 2017. Yeah, it's, that's the more modern oh, version, I think. She was... In the Bible was the wife of a priest named Zechariah. <laughs> no, that doesn't bode she well. She was also a cousin of Mary, the mother of Jesus. All right, we're, we're at the right time. Are we on now? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Uh, she was barren. I'm shocked. Every other woman has been barren in this. True. Yeah. It seemed like the only way to have kids was to ask God. Elizabeth was barren. She was unable to have children. I mean, same thing. When Elizabeth is first mentioned in the Bible, she's an old woman. Or as Luke puts it, advanced in years. How okay. poetic. I'm, I'm skipping forward. Things are prime cube she and bad herself name pregnant. Bad. Okay. Put her in bad. She's old. I'm just, I, I'm already unimpressed. She's old. Fucking loser. Oh, eight oh, days after her child was born, several neighbors and relatives were there for the ceremony of circumcision. All Let's right. go to the <laughs> Christ. I'll go meh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. She made a spectacle out of a circumcision. Yeah. You would love Judaism. <laughs> <laughs> they have a name for it and everything. Really? It's like a like a gender like a reveal thing. party? Yeah. Yeah. What is oh. that name? I forget. Um, Shit. Chat, what's the name when you watch the circumcision? It's a... Uh, Let's see. I feel like so oh uh, no, christening. No, no, yeah, no. Brits. No. Yeah, Brits. 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 There it is. Bar mitzvah. <laughs> I, I, I think he's <laughs> a little bit on thirteen. <laughs> All right. Thanks There's the much Arturo. speculation about the identity of the Antichrist. Some of the more popular targets are Vladimir Putin. All right. <laughs> yeah. Stop. No, the, literally. Uh, unironically, the Antichrist is thrown around anytime it's someone like someone doesn't like. So religion will target people yeah, all so the time. It's, it's not like a character. No, it's just like, it, like this is Putin, Prince William, Pope Francis, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump. Yeah, it, it, they literally toss wow. it around all the oh fucking my time. God, this site sucks. The Antichrist, if I remember correctly, is supposed to be like the harbinger of the end. So when you identify the Antichrist in the body, you'd the least expect him. Rock. Yeah, it. Uh, Armageddon is triggered. What is the Antichrist? Here we go. Whoever you think the Antichrist is, just base it off of that. Well, who do you think the Antichrist is right now? Right now? Yeah. Who's our current Antichrist? Hmm. Maybe Bobby Kotick? 
Yeah, could be. <laughs> wow. I'll go. I'll go real bad. Yeah, I think it has to be. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go real bad. I think. All right, the false prophet. He's also referred to as the second beast, together with the Antichrist and Satan, who empowers both of them. The false prophet is the third party in the unholy trinity. Well, what's God the describes trinity? this person and gives us clues to identifying him when he shows up. First, he comes out of the earth. This could mean he comes up from the pit of hell with all the demonic powers of hell at his command. Okay. Who are the trinity? It's probably Antichrist, Satan, 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 Antichrist, and the false yeah. prophet. Mm. He's depicted as having horns like a lamb while speaking like a dragon. That's helpful. Mm, that is pretty, that's pretty what cool. What does a dragon yeah, speak like? Good. That sounds pretty cool. That is actually that pretty is, sick. I mean, it's impressive. Mm. The false prophet comes like a lamb with persuasive words that elicit sympathy and goodwill from others. I mean, that's not bad. Uh, that's Bobby Kotick. <laughs> yeah, his <laughs> words are moving. <laughs> All right, this mission on Earth is to force humanity to worship the Antichrist. Now, let me ask you something. I'm going to get deep on All right. the false prophet. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's about time someone does. Is he really bad if all he's doing is the same exact thing God and Jesus are doing, just not for God and Jesus? He's powerful like God, and he's asking people to follow him the same exact way God is. I don't know that the false prophet has killed children and people the same way God has. Why is he bad? Well, I would assume since he's telling people to yeah, worship that, Satan, that's yeah, probably he wanted the bad Satan part right? comes in. But so far, Satan hasn't done that much bad. Well, but he is in bad. Yeah, yeah but he like I've read two paragraphs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious, okay? Yeah. So, like, I think what you're saying, like, if the false prophet was just guiding you to someone nice, I think it'd be, yeah, I'd right. understand your point, but going to Satan's probably just not a good look. I guess I don't, but it's only not a good look because God told us it's not a good look. True. Like, I mean, Satan just does what God <laughs> tells him to, it seems. Right. Yeah. Like, God just lets Satan do anything. No, keep in mind, I wouldn't worship Satan. God's ruling over him, making him his bitch. Like, true. He's that weak. True, yeah. He's weak. He is, he's kind of pathetic. Yeah. All right. I'm back on God's side. All right. You brought me full circle. Um, false prophet, bad. I'm thinking good. Like I, I was <laughs> he's a lamb good. with horns. I, he is good. I think I mean he's got a voice of a dragon. Like that's, yeah, nice. that's yeah, cool. Like, he's kind of cool, and that's he's very cool. convincing too. Like yeah. says nice things. Like he's just, he just like a me religious. kind guy. Yeah, I think he's kind of cool. What about Noah? Noah's cool. Oh, oh he's got he's, yeah. he's like best of the best. He saved yeah. all the animals. I agree. Yes. Two by God two. Tier. Yeah, he's going God. I'll go God tier. I don't even need to read. Yeah, Noah's pretty fucking sick. Noah's fucking awesome. What about Lot? The fuck is Lot? Person. I don't know. He looks pathetic. Who was Lot in the Bible? He looks. He looks like a nerd. Lot was the grandson of Terah, son of Haran, and nephew of Abraham. He was likely born in Ur of the Chaldeans. Lot's father. I don't tell me about Lot. Lot's grandfather. Oh my Lot God. had a lot of drunken incest. <laughs> All right, pretty cool. good. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Five kings rose up against they him can't do for that his sense, actions. So. Yeah, you're a little late, Valentine. He ran away from his wife, who became salt. His wife became salt. Apparently. Wow. Is that like an expression, or did his wife literally transmogrify into salt? He God turned his wife into salt. That's pretty cool. That is kind of cool. That's, right, that's Once again, if you have magical powers, that's you go up top. That's sick. <gasps> Wait. I know Lot. I've read this story. Let's okay, hit us. Lot is the one, I think I told you that, about it, where... All right, wait, let me get in this, because we there's talk, something we weird about... before. Yeah, like his daughters and stuff <laughs> were, like, trying to... There, There's a whole bunch of, like, right, incest and it. angel sex and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, angels demanded access to Lot's guests in order to have homosexual relations with them. Um... Okay, it really switched to a different story. I wanted to keep reading that one. Well, um, so I'm assuming he's the reason for sodomy oh, being yeah. a word. Wait, when I read this, it was his... All right, Lot spoke with his sons-in-laws, but they refused to leave, considering Lot's warning about impending judgment. Wait, what? Somebody typed the story about Lot's and his kids and the sex. <laughs> I know it's there. <laughs> Well, yeah. It's yeah, they got him so drunk that he didn't know what was happening, and then they sleep with him. Yes! His All right. kids do? Yes. It, I'm going to read this. After the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, 
Lot was afraid to stay oh, in Zor. Sodom and Gomorrah? So he settled in the mountains with his daughters. He was destitute. He had lost everything when Sodom was destroyed. And so the family lived in a cave. It was here that Lot's daughters devised a disturbing plan to continue the family line. They would get Lot so drunk that he didn't know what was happening and then sleep with him. Both women became pregnant and had sons named Moab and Ben Ami. These two boys would become the father of the Moabites and the Ammonites. I, I remember the name Sodom and Gomorrah go. because it always reminded me of Godzilla. <laughs> because Gomorrah is very similar to a Godzilla villain. So I do remember that. I didn't. Re- so he, they just got him drunk and fucked him in yeah, a cage. It yeah. sounds pretty like insignificant. Like he, he, he's another person that stuff just happened to him. He didn't do anything. Yeah. yeah. So was he even like a bad guy or did his family just rape him? That Pretty much that. Is what I got. Oh, no, no, no. Why did Lot offer up his daughters to be gang raped? Yes! Wait! There was more! I was right! All right, keep going. It's all coming back now. I told you there was something about he wanted to offer them up. I think it was to angels or something. Well, I want to get rid of them too if they're raping me all the time. Well, that happened after. (laughs) After he offered them up. Please take them. Well, no, they had to move to the cave. He he did this all. I mean, they shouldn't have done that, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. He just he, he said, hey, just run the train on her, I guess. I don't know. There's there's a lot here. There's a lot of nuance. Scripture does not reveal Lot's reasoning for offering up his daughters. I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably tired of being raped. <laughs> You're probably on to something. You should be like a biblical scholar. Yeah, they should come to me for questions about Lot. <laughs> Where did I read this? Why did, yeah, I why, why yeah, did you I read realized. this? Why did I know this and the cutting the baby in half? I know the goat foreskin thing, but I didn't know any of this. Do you guys remember that one? Is that the old condoms? No, it was... Let's go I test. think it was God... Maybe a cheap intestine. I think it was God asked some guy to collect a hundred foreskins or something. Mm. So they had to like gather foreskin and he like took it from goats or some shit. Were the olden days just gathering quests from MMOs? That's what it sounds like. Do you think, are MMOs just our gods now? Maybe. (laughs) Actually, I want to look up the foreskin thing. Hold on. This is dangerous to do on Twitch. No, no, this will be fine. (laughs) Because now I need to remember that. Foreskin Bible. (laughs) 13 Bible verses about foreskin. (laughs) I think I typed this in correctly. Oh, yeah, here we go. Somebody asked, do goats have foreskins? And that's a great question. Yeah, I have no Not idea. anymore because he took them all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, that's probably what the story was telling us. That's why goats don't have foreskins. It was Samuel and David. I want to find the actual excerpt, though. That does foreskins. sound like classic Samuel and David. Yeah. Yeah. Hunting for foreskins. Yeah. Where the fuck is it? I go go back. I saw David that. carrying a warm sack of two hundred foreskins. Hmm. <laughs> the local boy. What? What the fuck is? Is it I actually this is fanfic? Yeah, this absolutely We're sounds away like from fanfic. Legos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! They gave me foreskins. <laughs> incredible yeah it, it, i think the way it's written also gives it away the local boy makes good but daddy is not happy yeah now daddy's little girl wants him to make part of the family don't let her get you drunk all right where the fuck is this story though i'd like to find that why 200 philistine foreskins matter beholding the glory of the lord oh here we go David and the delivery of 200 Philistine foreskins to his future father-in-law. Or it's a dowry. Yeah. Why does he want them? I what don't know. a dowry. The king desires no bride... Pr- oh, here, I can put this on oh, screen again. the Philistines were his enemy. Mm-hmm. So if you get the foreskin, it's like scalping them. It's like taking a trophy. <gasps> the king desires no bride price except 100 foreskins. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think he's on here, though. Oh, wait, no, it's, this is Saul. Yeah, Saul wait. told him to tell him that, I guess. Saul was very well, demanding. It, Saul where, was all where, over the where did we place. Where did we put Saul? Because that's pretty cool. He wanted foreskin or something. I think we already put him high up. Is he high up? He should be. That was, that was impressive. Uh, we put him in good, I think. Yeah. Right? Well, Paul was Paul, good. Paul, Paul no. Was good. Saul was bad. Saul Paul was, was bad. Good. Yeah. I think. Wait, where's Saul now? Oh, oh, bottom left. Real bad. Oh, he's real bad. 
you can tell we have a good grading skill because we can't remember why he's there at all. Yeah, no. and well, we literally said because, Saul that because that was pre name change. Yeah, yeah, this was this was a uh, true very early on in the lore. Okay, so currently our real bed is Abraham. I think Lot honestly should go in like meh. Because all he did was get raped and then get rid of his daughter. <laughs> Wait, where <laughs> like, did we go Lot? Nowhere. We have oh, yeah, put Lot in meh. Okay, that's pretty meh. Does that say Barbara? Sarah. Sarah. Oh. I was going to say, that doesn't seem like a fitting name for the Bible. Sarah. Bible. Last one. Well, this is the last one. She's a matriarch and prophetess. Major figure, all right. Oh, boring. She seems kind of boring. She does. Why did they boring. not save like Abraham's Satan, wife. God, and Jesus for the end? Maybe they're in order of appearance. Like yeah, they credits. definitely are. <laughs> <laughs> Bible brought to you by. Uh... All right, I'm pretty unimpressed. Meh. Yeah, it's very meh. All right, the definitive Bible character tier list is done. <laughs> Currently, where do we have God? God's he's at best of the best. best. That's good. He's doing alright. I, I don't think he should be there. I think he should be good. God is below Jesus. <laughs> Job is up there. Job deserves that. Yeah, yeah. that's true. God killed his kids. Yeah. Um, Job got fucked by God for no reason. Yeah. Satan is bad while Eve is real bad. <laughs> and Goliath is... There should, there should be a lower one for Goliath. Yeah, it's so pathetic How to get blasted by... David in a slingshot? Yeah, what it's that? so that, embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Why is Abraham in real bad? Because he he's that douchebag that was going to kill his son. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Some voice told him to. That yeah. might have been Eli, but we don't know. Yeah, that's true. It, it always could be Eli. <laughs> God really was just such a weird prankster, he making was. him do that. Why did we put Jeremiah there? I forget what Jeremiah did. Yeah, what was Jeremiah? A bullfrog. Oh, it's because he was bald. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why we put Jeremiah in That's real That's why Danny put him there. What, did we even ever figure out what he did? I don't remember. I think we just got so tired I'm of looking balding. for Jeremiah. What are you guys going to think about me? <laughs> this is so bad. I don't remember at all why we put Jeremiah I there. Remember what Jeremiah did. I all think right. we just got Jeremiah, really tired. Not the one that out. killed the kids with bears. No, he was no. Cool. That was, we good. put that guy in and probably God. No, that right? was best of the best. That was Elisha. Yeah. Oh, that was a that was Elisha. Yeah. Yeah, Elisha used bears to oh, murder children. Oh, that's why Jeremiah was the weeping prophet. He oh, oh, he just cries yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah, and he's bald. Yeah, that's the worst part. Yeah. Yeah, I, you cry and you're bald. He was yeah. asking for to be in real bed. Yeah, no, I, I think you're right. Now that we fact-checked it, we're correct. Yeah, well, now it all makes sense. <laughs> like, the kids who were thrown into a furnace, meh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's all they, they just ran into fire. They yeah, kind of that's stupid. what they did. <laughs> anyone can kind of stupid. <laughs> anyone can throw themselves in a furnace. That's not really... Not Daniel did it better. He, didn't, he was thrown into fire, but he didn't burn. Right. That's why he's the best of the best. Yeah, you know? Daniel's a better version of those kids. <laughs> I love that God is best of the <laughs> And so is Jonah. Why? Because he was eaten yeah. by a whale. Yeah, but that's fucking awesome. <sighs> wow. So was Abel for being murdered. Yes. Yeah, he... And Cain for murdering him. <laughs> it is the first murder. And the first murder. You can't beat that. He's a tier one gym in the resub wow. ballon. Yeah. Cool. Wow, good catch. And resub Sono. We it's... should absolutely go through Greek mythology next time. Yeah, now I'm yeah. really I want to do Greek next. Yeah, that's a good one. That would be lovely. Alright. Okay, this now. Alright, yeah, let's do that. Let's bust that shit open. Alrighty, let me go get something to cut it with. Yeah, I'll come show you some water. I'm gonna show you where all that is. I'm also gonna fill up my water, I'll be right back. <laughs> 